Hey everybody, welcome back to Calgary Barbell. Today we're gonna to talk about some tips for improving your grip in the deadlift, namely to stop the bar from rolling. Now, the whole reason we switch from a double overhand grip when we first start deadlifting to either a mixed grip or a hook grip or some variation, I've seen people do mixed hook grip, it's crazy, um, is to get the bar to stop rolling. When the bar rolls, the bar starts moving in the opposite direction we're trying to pull it. That creates negative momentum that's gonna make that lift exponentially harder. What our goal with deadlift grip is, is to keep the bar from rolling. Now, the first big tip is to take the bar lower in your hand. A lot of people think that if they put the bar really high up in their hand, kind of like how we talked about in the, in the bench grip, sorry, um, that there's going to be more meat of the hand to wrap around it, that that's going to be sturdier. However, in my experience and in, in working with athletes, the big thing that I find is that bar is gonna roll to the end of your grip as soon as you start deadlifting. Now, if that bar is really high up, that's going to tear calluses. It's going to create, again, that momentum moving in the opposite direction we're trying to pull the bar. So what my recommendation here is, is to take that bar lower along these knuckles here, almost in the fingertips, so that when we start, that bar's already set and it's not gonna roll any further. The next big thing that kind of piggybacks on that last idea is to pull the slack out of your grip. Now we talked recently in a deadlift video about pulling the slack out of the bar to make sure that we had tension set into the bar. We wanna make sure the same thing's happening with your grip so that again, even putting it lower in your hands, we wanna make sure that we're pulled to the end of the grip before we initiate the lift and put everything into trying to break that bar off the floor. Again, if there's any roll, it's gonna work against you. Very similarly in hook grip, we'll notice that a lot of people will set that hook grip very deep, which is fine. We can get a little bit more grip on the thumb, but we wanna make sure that by the time we start that pull, we're down towards the end of where that bar is going to end up. Now, it might seem a little bit riskier, but again, we want to reduce that bar rolling. And lastly, just a little bit of a tip for those who choose to hook grip or who are having trouble learning the hook grip. Now, honestly, the, the first time I tried to hook grip, what I did was just wrap my thumb around the bar like I normally would and then try to jam my fingers on top of it. Now that's not bad, but one thing that I actually learned from Clint Darden when I first started getting into, de into uh, using hook grip was to lay the thumb as parallel to the bar as possible so that you have more length of the thumb to grab onto. Now the big thing here is that we want the middle finger to dig right into that dent just below the thumbnail and the first finger to just kind of grab on wherever you can. Now you'll notice if you look at any of my heavy deadlifts that I've hook gripped, these two fingers, my, my ring finger, my pinky finger, are barely even on the bar. They don't really have much to do with it. They're almost under the bar at that point. So they're just kind of along for the ride. The big thing is gonna be getting as much of these first two fingers wrapped around that thumb as you can. And by laying the thumb parallel to the bar, as opposed to perpendicular, we're gonna get a lot more to grab onto. Hopefully this video helps everybody to make more deadlifts, to drop less of them, and to keep that damn bar from rolling out of your hands. If you like this video and you found it helpful, make sure to share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned in the video, leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure to join us for our weekly Twitch streams. See y'all later.